fans, I'm Brian Bender and welcome to Bender's Corner Episode 5. With the Olympics coming up in Beijing, we thought we'd sit down and chat with Patriot right fielder Ryan Radmanovich, who's going to represent Team Canada for the second time and head to the Olympics and try to win a gold medal for Team Canada. Ryan, you've been part of many great teams here at the Somerset Patriots. You're one of the all-time players associated with the team, many-time All-Star, many accolades here. I could go on and on, but what's it been like roaming right field here for the Patriots? Well, it's, it's been an honor. You know, anytime you're, uh, you're given the opportunity to, to wear a uniform and get paid to play a game, I mean, it's just, it's an honor, and, and anything you can do to help the team while you are playing, it, you know, it's just, it makes it that much more special. So, you know, there's, there's been some big home runs, but, uh, you know, the, the teams I've played with, it, it, they've been great teams and great lineups, uh, you know, surrounding me. So, you know, it, it, it's not always the home run, you know, it's the guys getting on base in front of you and, uh, you know, the protection you have behind you. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a team sport, but, uh, you know, with, uh, with an individual sport, uh, you know, around it. Now the Olympics is fast approaching. I see the bat here, Beijing Olympics, already named the Team Canada. Congratulations again for that. This will be your second Olympics with Team Canada. You're also representing Team Canada in the World Baseball Classic. How, what is that like? What ex how does that experience feel to represent your country in, in the biggest games there are? It's a, you know, it's a privilege and an honor. Um, you know, anytime you, you you know you put the uniform on with uh, Canada across your chest, you know it kind of reminds me of uh, Miracle, the movie. You know, uh, you know, asking you who you play for, and uh, you know they come up with USA finally. But uh, yeah, you know, just to have that on your chest, playing for a whole nation, it's definitely something special. You know, uh, not to take anything away from playing with you know the Patriots or the Seattle Mariners, but there is a, a little added. Uh, you know, honor to that, to be selected uh, from your country to, to go and represent your country and uh, try and bring home a medal. Olympics is tough, so is this league right now. Uh, well, what, what's it been like? Uh, you had a little time off before you came back. Are you ready to go for the Olympics? Uh, and uh, where are you going to play? Is it going to be right field again? And uh, are, you, are you excited that you'll be leaving soon for this Olympics? You know, I mean, we, you know, I, I was happy to get the opportunity to come here to Somerset again. And we clinched the first half and, uh, you know, put us in the playoffs. So, you know, as I see it, we're already in the playoffs here, which is great. Um, now just getting some of my bats and getting ready for the Olympics, and uh, that's next on my plate, of course. But uh, yeah, it's uh, you know it, it's it's great. It's going to be an outstanding experience, and, and like I said before, the the uh, opening ceremonies is probably what I'm looking forward to the most at this point. Um, you know, that's that's what I remember the most of uh, 04 was just walking in, marching in with your country, and uh, that's what I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that again. After talking to Ryan Ramanovich, we thought we'd ask some of our Patriot players what events they would participate in in the Olympics, and we got some interesting answers. Well, a little fun fact about Vito Cervellati, I was an Olympic swimmer, uh, qualified for the Olympics in three events my senior year of high school. So 100 backstroke, 50 freestyle, 100 freestyle. But um, I probably wouldn't even want to do that, so I would say curling would be my Olympic event. I would go with basketball. And then I would go by the 4x100 relay team. That would be the one. Wrestling, because it was always a sport I wanted to try, and I never uh, got up the nerve to go do it. No, but I used to do gymnastics when I was younger, and I can still do a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little example real quick. When I was stretching, 